I'm Lizzie Renault. I own Speakeasy Tattoo in Toronto, and I own Pinky's Nails in Toronto as well. Times two soon. Yes, times two. Pinky's Nails times two. Epileptic note. I will be calm and respect the tattoo environment. Don't freak yes. out. <laughs> Why did you want to get into tattooing? I don't even know that, and I've known oh you my for God, like a year. Straight up money. I had the like, what? Never Worst. thought you'd say that. Totally. So honest. And so it worked really against me because at my apprenticeship, I didn't think it was tacky to say that, and it totally was. Then I realized I liked it better than drawing. It was a more fun medium than pencil to paper or, or paint to canvas. And then it just kind of became about money will come when it comes, you know? So yeah, money in the beginning. And then when I wanted to open my own business, it was just because I had the energy and I knew I would be good at it. the confidence to tattoo because I feel like if you screw up, it's their body. Like I guess that pressure helps because there's not room to screw up because that's literally the worst feeling in the world. Because even if you do a million in a, in a day, that person only may ever get one. Right. And if that one wasn't important to you, then that one person's gonna walk away feeling bummed about it. The pressure of it forces you, I think, to have the confidence. And I think you just have to be the right person for the job. You're like friggin' top three tattoo artists in Toronto. I don't know if everyone knows, okay? But Lizzie's top three. But I'm always like, Lizzie uh, is like top three in Toronto, okay? Everyone go see her, cause she's the best, okay? This is so cool, I can't believe it. So the transition from tattoo shop to nail shop, I think I was really like scrambling. I was unhappy and I needed something to make me happy. And I, I seriously had that one manicure in London. And I was at that place and I was like, I could do this and I could do this better. So I thought this is going to happen and it's gonna happen in Toronto. And I have the idea now and I know no one's done it. So if I don't do it, it's just gonna kill me. So yeah, I just took my savings and made this. <laughs> and you're doing it. Pinky's Nails is designed to be a genderless beauty space where it doesn't matter age, gender, color, whoever walks through the door is treated as the exact same person. It's a very queer-oriented business model. And it's all about nail art. So it's very nail. much like a tattoo where you need to express yourself in some way. So it's this way to kind of show people the things you're into, how different you are, but it's not a tattoo. Our biggest goal was to have someone from Drag Race wear our nails. And we blew that goal out of the water. We've now had nails like worn by celebrity drag performers all over the place. Okay, I would love to open up another Pinkies and then, yeah, completely step back and just be the owner. My sister, Monique, she runs most of Pinkies under me. And so my goal is to like build this to a point where I can gift a partnership of it to her. And then this is now, you know, she and can do you're this. selfless. <laughs> Isn't she like everything? She's like everything awesome. What's that? I want your life for a day. Oh! Are we getting that butt? What a butt! Oh. What a butt! Oh. oh yeah, life is good, homie. This is the worst day ever. Really. Really. Magic. What is it?